Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Mary Ogunbola. The, in the previous video, I discussed on personal boundaries and what it is. And, I, I, and like I said, it is like a fence or a wall or a door that you put up in order to ensure that things that are not right for you do not get access to you. That is what essentially personal boundary is. And today I'll be talking about the types of boundary and how we can set the boundaries. As individuals, we have different spaces within, within us. We have different spaces. We have our mental space. We have our emotional space. We have physical space. We have our resources, things that we own, our possessions. And then we have our time and energy and we can define boundaries on these various spaces that we own that are ours all right so we're talking about well-being of an individual remember you you have the responsibility to yourself you have the respect you are the most important projects that, that you can ever work on like I did in this other video so when you understand personal boundaries and set them appropriately you will find out that you live a life that is more peaceful, that is more joyful, and that and you have and you give yourself room to evolve and to thrive. I did a set of videos where I talked about my childhood trauma. I talked about my father being an alcoholic and what it meant for me. As a, as a young child, I could not process the, the way I felt, I do not process the impacts on my dad's alcoholism on my life. But as an adult, when I began to reflect back on my childhood days, and I was able to identify that as one of the problems in my life, and it was, I was able to return back to being that child who was affected by that problem. And to be able to process all the feelings, how I felt, not having the father available even though he was present and so i was discussing this with someone and the person kind of like dismissed it and said you don't you didn't have to feel that way now that was not trauma that's not enough to call trauma this is one aspect of our emotional space that people will try to define what our feelings should be we are the ones that had an experience and we are the ones that felt a certain way. And I want to use this time to assure you that however you feel in any moment, whatever it is that you feel in any moment, you should acknowledge that feeling. And do not let anybody tell you that you shouldn't feel a certain way. Our feelings are, are important, our feelings are valid. So when we feel traumatized and we express it that way, we should be given space to express it, not to be dismissed or rejected or um, minimized, our suffering to be minimized. So emotional space, when you recognize people who dismiss your feelings, you may want to um, avoid discussing such topics with such people because you know that it has the kind of person that they are, they may, they may want to dismiss your feelings you may want to minimize or belittle your experiences or your achievements. So you may want to ensure that when, you, when those people are around you, you don't bring up such topics for discussion. And even when they want to broach it, you say, I, I don't want to talk about it. So that's one way to set a boundary in the emotional space. Just our mental space, our mind, that's where we have our thoughts, our beliefs, our opinions, what, what we value, it comes from our mind. There are people in our family settings, there are people we're friends with, there are people we're in uh, marital situations with that may want to force their own beliefs and opinion upon us. To say that what you think or what you believe or what your opinions are do not count. Okay, so sometimes we may we may feel that we are inadequate with our with our opinions, but we should have we should be free to express them anyway. Even though somebody disagrees with our opinions on a matter, we should learn to respect the person's opinion and say, we we can agree to disagree, 
this is my own stance, this is your own stance, but to not wave off somebody's opinion as irrelevant. If we think that the opinion is too trivial, we can bring superior arguments to ensure that we give that person more information that can help them to now decide to shift whatever position that they are holding. So when we find people in our relationships who uh, discount our opinions or relegate our beliefs to nothing, we could voice out at that person, we could tell them calmly and politely that yeah, we can agree to disagree, but this is what I believe, this is what I think. You may not agree, but this is what I think. So when you express such words, whenever such issues come up, like I said, manipulative people don't care what you think, what you feel, they don't care. But you have a right to insist on your boundaries being respected. You have to ensure that you keep and keep mentioning it that this is what it, this is what I hold. Friendship doesn't have to end because opinions differ or beliefs differ. So family relationships. I mean, we don't have the hand because our opinions differ on the matter. In defining boundaries, you have to speak up. You have to speak up for yourself. And a lot of people suffer um, this inadequacy. I'm not able to speak up. I'm not able to find the right words. I don't want to appear to be rude. I don't want to appear to be inconsiderate or selfish. But what, how does this inability to express yourself or to come out and stand up for yourself affect you? Have you tried to process that? We're talking about your well-being. In terms of resources or material, there are people, when they loan out money to speak to other people, they are afraid to ask it back. They don't, they don't know how to ask it back. And... That may be the end of it. I once listened to a program and this woman expressed frustration um, that whenever anybody in the family needed a babysitter, she was always available to them to babysit their children. But whenever she needed a babysitter, nobody wants to volunteer to babysit her children. So she felt frustration, she felt uh, taken advantage of, but the, the truth of the matter is that when it comes to your time, you are the one to define uh, what is available and what is not available. But some people can be quite fearful of losing relationships or losing people because they voice out um, their needs. When you define boundaries and some people feel that they, they, they don't want to be in your life anymore, then you, see, you should see it as a good, as a good thing because they are not adding to your will. Rather, they are going to be uh, making you sick, making you stressed, making you resentful, making you frustrated. There are other times when we think about going to a certain place where we meet certain people or certain person, and we immediately start feeling drained. <laughs> We start feeling like, oh God, what? You know, there, there, there are people who make our energy low, and there are people who make our energy high. So, setting boundaries for such people is to say, this no longer works for me. I don't have to, um, to be there. I don't have to go to this environment where I'll be in the presence of this person who makes my energy deplete, who drains me. And in their presence, I don't feel good. I, I don't feel good. These are signs that you should you should put up boundaries and say this no longer works for me, you know, and try to avoid going into the presence of such people. And where you don't have a choice, maybe you find yourself in the gathering of such individuals, you can ensure that you have people who affirm your worth, who understand your value. Physical boundary could be proximity or touch. Be watchful of how, what, how do you feel when you hurt a certain person? How do you feel? What, what goes on within your energy, your, your chemistry? What goes on? So those are areas where you want to look at physical boundaries. Then comments. People, some people make 
all sorts of comments, lewd comments, and they will expect you to respond or to, to laugh about it. You have to be assertive when making boundaries with people, especially people who often make rude jokes about your body. I, this doesn't work for me. I don't. I don't condone this. This is not a joke, and. Be, let your body language actually also speak what you're speaking. So be assertive whenever you're making any form of boundary. Let people understand that what is no longer serving you, you will not tolerate. And that people will not walk all over you and be, and be become their doormat. Like I said in the last video, a lot of people are manipulative in this time. They will take advantage of you. They will use you. For their own selfish agenda and you'll be left drained because you've not been able to identify what fulfills you what needs are in your own life in terms of how you want to um feel mm -hmm. and then you have to voice out when i was researching on, on this topic i found that quite a lot of people are fearful of engaging people in this boundary they don't want to appear to be selfish or inconsiderate or rude in Africa and Nigeria generally. Once you, once you set up boundaries, they say, oh, okay, who does she think she is? But you know what you want for yourself. You know you want to keep in, being in health and to be able to um, thrive in your life, to be able to pursue your dreams, to be able to become your best self. Mm -hmm. In setting boundaries, you may want to seek out people who you know can support you with those boundaries. Before you discuss with the person whom you want to set a boundary with, you may want to check in on them for the necessary support and they may even guide you with the right words. I once listened to an opera show where she said when she feels that she could not say no to the person, she will tell them, I'll pray about it. And the next time she will say she didn't get a positive response when she she prayed about it so it's different people with different uh, ways of approaching boundaries but then you need to watch out for your own self if not um you may find out that nobody is watching out for you and you'll be um a miserable lot so in certain boundaries you need to identify what boundaries to, needs to be in place is it a mental boundary a mental is it in your mental space is it in your Emotional space is it in, is it with your materials? Is it with, is it in terms of physical? Is it in terms of your energy or your time? You need to be able to identify it. And some of the ways you identify is how to what what makes me feel frustrated when this issue when this event comes up. What makes me feel stressed? What made me feel on and underappreciated? Or what makes me feel overwhelmed? You may want to ask yourself those questions. So in, in setting boundary. You're essentially telling people, this is the way I'd like to be treated. And not ignoring your own needs, your emotional needs, your mental needs, your material needs. You you're, you're telling people, these things are important to me. I need you to respect these spaces. If the relationship is a healthy one, they will respect the boundaries that you have uh, set up. People who disrespect other people's boundaries are manipulative persons. They don't care about you. They just want to fulfill a certain agenda that they have. And so they disrespect your boundaries or they label you oh, difficult, stubborn, selfish, inconsiderate, all sorts. But it is up to you to ensure that you keep maintaining your stance when it comes to that space. This is the time to be courageous and assertive in maintaining the boundaries that you set. Even when people disrespect it, point it out to them that this is not okay. In the relationship, you have to continue to have communications about what is okay and what is not. Like I said, relationships must, there must be respect. Whatever relationship, family, relationship, friendship, marital, business relationship, professional relationship, there must be respect. Without that, I mean, the, the, the relationship is essentially unhealthy. And those are the things that contribute to people's, people breaking down 
becoming stressed, becoming depressed, not feeling worthy, not feeling confident to pursue their dreams. Boundaries are important in order to keep a healthy self, in order to, to keep being healthy as a human. And I hope that this video, you find it helpful. If you've discovered that you have not really had any boundary within your own life and you feel, oh, people have been taking advantage of you uh, and you feel resentment towards them, I think these are signs for you to develop the courage, start identifying areas that you need to set a boundary and then set that boundary and put it in place by having that conversation with that person or persons. I hope you find this video useful. I hope it's, it helps you in your journey to being well, in your journey to be your best self. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, yes. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, kindly click the red subscribe button down below this video. And like always, I like to read your feedback. I like to read your comments. Kindly drop a comment in the comment section. Have you had have you had any boundaries set up? Have you had your boundaries disrespected in the past? Have you set up any boundaries or do you have difficulty setting up a boundary? Please share your comments in the comment section. And if you need this support, someone will support you in having that conversation, kindly send me an email. Thank you a lot for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.